Hey guys, Thunderset here, bringing you a brand new deck that revolves around the new card Light Pulsar Dragon. So, this is one of those decks that's really fun to play, but it's not very practical, it's a little convoluted. So, you know, it's it's fun, but it's not practical. But I really like it, and uh, it's just an interesting way working with light and dark monsters. We're using the skill of Transcendent Crystals to set up our graveyard just perfectly, and we're also adding a little draw power with rare value. So what does this deck do? We have Vice Dragon for Synchro plays, that will be a Black Rose Dragon or a Samurai Destroyer when combined with our Galaxy Serpent. And that would also give us a black, or a black, a dark and a light monster in the graveyard. So, that sets up for monsters like Dark Flare Dragon, who will banish a light and a dark monster to special summonings 2400, also a dragon. Or Light Pulsar Dragon, who can special summon from your hand by banishing a light and a dark from the graveyard, or he can special summon from the graveyard by sending a light in the dark from your hand. So we're using both. Also, if he's destroyed, you can target a level 5 or higher dragon type monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So that's our vice dragon, that's our dark flare. They gotta be dark. Um, cool card, very strong card. You'll see both those effects definitely. You're using them both. And so with transcendent crystals, we're aiming for carbuncle because carbuncle is light. And we're using rare value because rare value will send Carbuncle into the graveyard, so that's one extra light in there. And we're using Claw of Hermos because we're using tons and tons of dragons, and the attack will get absolutely crazy, making for a Black Rose Wipe into a Summon of a Dragon, into a Hermos, into an OTK. We also snuck in one copy of Chaos Sorcerer. Don't really need it. You could maybe even run a third rare value. But he's a nice little ace in the hole if you need to banish something. Overall, guys, it's a cool little deck with a lot of cool little combos. They'll be more apparent in the replays. You'll see all the little combos throughout. And uh, it's not competitive. It's an OTK deck, and it takes a lot of cards in the combo. But it's fun, guys. If you play it really well, you will get some wins. But you got to really know the combos and really know what you're going to do in the duel. But you'll see the replays. It all makes sense. And thanks for watching, guys. Fighting Taya Gardner. I'm just gonna be picking on Taya this whole uh, video, guys. Just beating up on dual standby, showing you why dual standby does not work. It's not a good skill because it helps your opponent so so much. So this is gonna go really, really quick, really complicated, guys. So uh, it's first turn. I send a Pulsar Dragon, Light Pulsar Dragon, and a Carbuncle from my hand to the grave, that's too light. Light, 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 light. We have nothing but light right now. I'm gonna use my rare value, pull into a vice dragon. Now, I'm discarding a light and a dark from my hand to summon my pulsar dragon from the grave. Now, I have two options. I could summon my light pulsar dragon from the hand by banishing a light and the dark, my dark being the vice dragon, or I can use this claw of Hermos and get this boy absolutely fat with all those dragons I've already put in. Now you know what we're facing, we're facing a mono. I already used all my effects, all that great stuff. We top deck into just what we need with the Dark Flare Dragon. Now we use our graveyard resources. Try to swing over the Amano, get hit with a wall of D. Even through a wall of D, Light Pulsar Dragon was still 3900 guys. There's no way in a mono deck was gonna get over that. Fantastic stuff guys, lovely. Okay, fighting old school Seto Kaiba. Probably going second. You betcha, this deck loves going second, guys. Peak performance, that means it is most likely Black Wings. So, here it is, guys. Look at this hand. Norm or special summon the Vice Dragon. Normal summon the Galaxy. He only has one face down card. But imagine that was a field full of. Black Wings, we wipe it, as long as he didn't have Close, the trap card. Now, with those Synchro material, we special summon our Pulsar Dragon from our hand. We use our card, Claw of Hermos, banish a Dark Flare, or send a Dark Flare to the graveyard. 5k damage, crazy, crazy stuff, guys. Absolutely love it. 
Okay, so here we are facing Kea. Sorry, my hair is out of control. And you are about to see the inherent weakness of dual standby. And why you don't see me using it in like every deck. So here he uses dual standby. Goes first. This is what we have, what we call in the business a god hand, guys. So we have our black rise wipe, black rise, black rose wipe. We pull into a rare value. We're gonna black rose the field with the special summon of a vice dragon and the normal summon of a galaxy serpent. In doing this, we now have a dark and light in the graveyard. He said a world legacy clash is fusilar dragon, but he will not survive this turn. So now. We throw another light in the dark into the grave, get two carbuncles, use our rare value. Rare value gives us exactly what we need. We special summon Light Pulsar Dragon from our hand, bring out Red Eyes Black Sword Dragon, 6,000 damage, all thanks to Dual Standby, because we used every card in our hand, guys, so we couldn't have done that without Dual Standby. Great stuff. Okay, Fighting Bones. Going second, this deck definitely wants to go second, guys. You saw some good first turn plays, but uh, it wants to go second. So here our opponent uses Restart. Decent skill now that there's no almighty beatdown and stuff. He restarted with six samurai to get a Shien out and set a back row, so it was a very successful restart. Here we're gonna transcend a crystal, send a dark flare and a pulsar. That still leaves us with a Pulsar of our own. We're gonna Kamikaze. Don't want to use our Hermos. We knew he had Restart and wouldn't be able to draw. He still had another monster. Here we Special Summon our Vice Dragon. Only 1,000 attack. But with Clove Hermos fueled by a Dark Flare. He's 3,500, guys. We barely have any dragons in the grave. He started at 1,000. Still an absolute monster. He lost the resource battle because of restart, had just one draw to rely on, and it was not even a monster. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here we are fighting another Taya, guys. So, let this video show just what dual standby does for your opponents. Because I don't take any downside to dual standby, and I get all the upside. So, uh, as you can see, my hand's super dope. We're gonna special summon the Vice Dragon, normal summon the Galaxy. We don't want to do a Black Rose Wipe. We're gonna go for a Samurai Destroyer. So we didn't have Lethal. So here we're gonna, and you know, they probably would just negate our effect anyway. He's gonna negate the rare value though, and then just eventually scoop. Easy stuff. I mean, counter counter whatever, Amano, I guess you would call it, has trouble getting over big monsters just to begin with. So it was over as soon as the Samurai Destroyer was on the field without an effect. Because you know he had an effect, something to stop it there. That's why I didn't go with the Black Rose Wipe or anything like that. With Amano decks, just get a strong monster out. Don't use any effects and you're gonna win super easily. So like I said guys, I like this deck. It's borderline a meme. But if you really know the plays, like uh, obviously I would because I made it, you can really get some wins. But I mean, if you were to just pick it up and try it out, you wouldn't exactly know the plays you need to make in every situation kind of thing. But it's still a really fun deck. Try it out. Play with Pulsar Dragon, guys. Very strong card. Definitely try it with Transcendent Crystals. And thanks for watching, guys.